Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about the find string method. Now the find string method just returns to us an index location of the first occurrence. Um, there's another way to find if something exists in your string object which is called the in operator and this would be able to say true or false if it exists. We'll do a tutorial on the in operator in a later tutorial, but today we're going to focus on the find string method. So let's create a string. And we're going to say new string. Alright, so we got our new string object here with a uh, variable of a. And we're going to call a and find. Now, the find string method has one required argument and that is your substring or the search sh string that you you want to search for so I'm going to say G alright and it must be in quotes in a string format and then we're going to close that out and hit return alright so here's our string method here and it's the find string method and we got our string argument which is required in there and we're get, calling it on our string object that's up here. We get returned 9. Now that's the first occurrence of G in our string object. So it says in the ninth spot we get 9. Alright. So if we search for a um, substring that doesn't exist like uh, Z, we're going to get returned a negative 1. Now, negative 1 indicates that it's not found in our string object. Z was not found in our string object, so we get a negative 1. So remember that. Negative 1 uh, indicates that it was not found in the string object. Now, let's look at the two other optional... Um, let's do... Uh, S. And we're going to give it a starting point of 1 and an ending point or starting index of 1, so it would be starting at E, 0, 1, starting at E, and we'll give it an ending point of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, hit re and then we're going to close out the parentheses for our string method, hit return, oh, we got a negative 1, but we have an S, and we have an S, it's uh, case sensitive, so this S would not work in this case because there's no lowercase s. So let's uh, do this again, but we're going to make this a uppercase S and hit return. Ah, four. Found four. All right. So what what's going on here? We got our starting index of one. So the find string method will start at the first index. So we got zero, one. So it starts here, and it goes two, three, four, five. Ends here. All right but it always goes one in front of it, so it will find this. Now if we did this and made this four and hit return, we're gonna get negative one because we're going back to uh, slicing. Always the ending slice always goes one in front of it. So if we do four, zero, one, two, three, four, it's stopping here on the S, you would think in your mind that, hey, that's S, but the ending slice is always one in front of it, so it goes to the space, it's not finding a capital S in here anywhere, so it's not going to find it. Let's do uh, one more. Dot find, and let's search for a bigger string. So we do ing, and we're not going to give any start or stop. The return, we get 7. Alright, well, it's returning 7. But wouldn't it be seven, eight, nine? Well, it re returns the first occurrence. Where does it first find i and g? It first finds i and g at seven index position, so that's why it displays a seven. All right. And I mentioned in the earlier uh, earlier in this tutorial that we'll eventually go over to in operator. But just to show you, we could do. Uh, uh, Oops. New in a hit return. It's true. This is how in works. So what we did was new is new in 
the A sub or string object. And it's true, it is. So it returns us a boolean. This returns a position, this returns a boolean. We'll go over this more in a later tutorial. If you have any questions about the find string op method, leave us a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.